How's things? Whoa, Whoa sorry, look, look at that. that. I just noticed I put yesterday, tomorrow's date instead of today's in the calendar. So thank you for being very prompt and actually reading my mind and getting on the, the call on the right day. That's all right, mate. Yeah. How's, how's things? Good. You look very smart today. Thank you. What, what cam are you looking at then? Because you're not looking at my cam. Are you like looking over there or something? Where's your... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. So what I've got my... my I've got my, my main screen in front of me and I've got my desk, my laptop to my left here. Ah. So, uh, I'll, so, yeah, and also that's the better side. Photographic wise, that's my better side. So I do try and turn my head so it's a better image all round. Ah, oh, good. Good. Where's um, where's Scott? Is he not here? No, I've spoke to Scott. Scott's on a, on another call. As, as important as Scott is, Andy's, Andy's the main guy. So yeah. it's good for you to get to be introduced to Andy, to go through what we've been seeing Follow up on our call last week because Andy's the guy who's with the magic fingers who'll make everything work for you. Yeah. <laughs> and where is he? Where's this Andy? Up here. Hi, Nick. How Hi, you mate. You all right? Yeah, not so bad. Thank you. Good. Where are you based then? Me, I'm from, um, I'm basically smack in the middle of Nottingham, Leicester and Derby. Yeah. Um, near Loughborough. Cool, cool. Right in the Midlands. Not very exciting. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good, good. And who do you work for? Uh, I work for Exposure Ninja. Right, um, okay. So, so you know the part of the we've been talking to you about that all the work goes through. So Andy looks after uh, a number of our, our projects, especially from a PPC point of view. Probably what about five or six of our projects now Andy, you're on. Yeah. yeah. At my point, at this point, most of my clients are yours now, Craig. So. Yep. <laughs> so um, he he works at, and the good thing about it is that he's very hands on with the the campaign. So. Yeah. And the, the audit that I sent over to you, which we originally did looking at where things are. He's been looking at the, the accounts over the last couple of days, but just wanted to start really talking with you about what what you know locally about the market and also just so Andy can get into what, what the main focus is. Because I know we've spoke about obviously the basements, conversions are quite big, but we've got some big opportunities around lost extensions, building work. So just to get your thought really for what you're seeing in central London at the moment. And I, yeah. I know Andrew was looking at truly where, how far you can stretch yourself around central London so that we can try and maximize the search opportunity for you uh, and really start to bring some additional lead work in for you as well. Right, okay, so um, we want to focus on design, that is architecture and interior design. We also want to focus on project management. So there's three like sort of sidelines apart from construction. And then when we go to the construction, we want to go refurbishments, extensions, including loft conversions, kitchens extensions, and then we go to basements. So uh, we could even go to sort of new build, new build houses, but obviously in London, you don't get many new mm. build opportunities. It's usually extending the property or refurbishing the property through you know, maybe uh, design and remodeling. And the areas, obviously we're based in Fulham. We don't really want to go to East London, but we can go uh, sort of uh, North London and South London, and obviously West London. Okay, so from an East London line, where does the line start in your mind for East London? Uh, we don't really want to go into the city and further than the city. Okay. It's just logistically, it's 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 okay. difficult. It's, any... it's hard. Yeah. Are there any up and coming areas at the moment that you know are real hot spots for regeneration, rebuild, development? Um, yeah, it's sort of a Ealing, Acton, um, you know, all all around that area. Actually, I was there the other week. Yeah. We, uh, I, I normally stay at Ealing. If, if I come bring the family down to London, we normally stay in Ealing. And then it's quite a nice location just to jump on the tube and get in without having to be in the city centre. Yeah, yeah. 
but it, obviously it's all about brand awareness and the brand awareness has been heavily pumped out for the last seven years in West London. So anyone driving around Fulham, Chelsea, South Kensington or by our office or past uh, Stanford Bridge, they would have seen our branding on properties uh, and our signs on uh, hoardings and billboards. So to make a sale, the people are gonna really go with companies they have recognized their brand. So when you go into a different area and you haven't really been hitting it hard on social media or the branding, you know, say in, uh, for instance, St. John's Wood, even though we have got projects over there, we haven't yeah. really been hitting the branding hard because we haven't had loads of projects over there. You know, so when we go over there, we're, we're going into a different area where we're sort of starting afresh so it, when, when, when someone picks us on, on a Google uh, search and we haven't really been in their sort of back of their minds when they, they've seen our signs everywhere, it's a harder sell, isn't it? Yeah. Where if we focus on West London, Fulham, Chelsea, South Kensington, Mayfair, Belgravia, and maybe then we can go out to mm, sort of subprime, Putney, Clapham, Wandsworth, Barnes, you know, those, those kinds of areas, you know, so they're, they're, they're within a couple of miles of the office. Yeah. Because obviously, uh, uh, you know, London is not a massive place, but you know, go, you can go from five miles from one from, from, from west to east and it's a different world. Yeah. And, um, was, and, and also you, it takes time, doesn't the, it? When you're going into these new areas, you're talking about like branding. So how does your brand differ from those, if, if we went to Ealing or Putney or Clapham, the, the competition over there, are they branding themselves differently or is it just their name out there? Yeah, it's just, it's just it would be us stepping into a new market, wouldn't it? So if, if we wanted to really hit a new area hard, we would need to launch a maybe a Facebook, Instagram campaign in those areas, putting out five or six different ads a day, uh, hitting, um, you know, families, hitting homeowners uh, with our branding heavily on all the adverts, you know, videos showing, you know, houses being refurbed or basement projects being completed with our new logo on it with a good uh, load of content about, um, you know, hashtag Chiswick, hashtag Chiswick Builders, you know, so on and so forth. Just hitting like we've done really hard in Fulham for the last seven years, but in different areas. And, and have you done any remarketing in the past as well? You talk about the branding piece. So have you done any remarketing of the brand on the back of people who have visited the site and seen you but haven't purchased? What do you mean? Like, um, um, what's that called? Uh, uh, pixels, Facebook Pixels. You work either Facebook or display marketing. So, so yeah, what it is, it's somebody who lands on your site who gets a tracking cookie placed on it and then for a period of time gets to see your brand and your name wherever they travel across either social or or, or any um, yeah. Google network. I haven't done that yet, no. I want to do it, but uh, no, I haven't done that kind of re, re, remarketing yet. Yeah, I don't really okay. understand that. I've tried. I, I did have this um, these two guys last year working on my Facebook, and they were doing that. But um, I've literally just had a conversation with him last week to bring him back on board to maybe work one day a week in our office, working on um, click funnels and also uh, running the click funnels through Facebook campaigns. So that is just that is going to be re reigniting different areas, yes. So we are going to be starting doing that, but I don't really understand how pixels work. Okay, yeah. well, hold that thought because that, depending on how much that's going to cost you, there may be some alternatives that we can look at to support you on that anyway. But but that's I know Andy, that's one of the routes you've looked at before. I know when we've looked at programs about using remarketing to support any paid 
display or paid um, search engine marketing that we do as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's always a good idea to um, have some remarketing to supplement the rest of your ads. It, um, especially when you've got a high value considered purchase, which is the market that you're in, Nick. Because, yeah. you know, it's not like someone wakes up one morning and says, you know what, I'm going to convert my basement and spend a hundred grand, everybody hundred grand on it. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's it, the decision takes a while because they're not going to exactly search for a basement company and, and, and pick you straight away unless you've literally been on, you know, on, on their mind uh, for the last six, seven months, hitting them hard on social media content and you know, maybe we've had, a, we've had a conversation in the past. So it does take time, yeah. Mm, free marketing will be very probably the bread and butter of this then really yeah i i think that it's going to be imperative to support because the one guy that andy i don't just give an overview of what we see obviously the reason we talk about geo targeting and geo areas for you is that you know it, it, the, the search volume isn't huge so we're looking to try and maximize on that but what we want to do is the moment we get a bite the moment we get some interest we want to ensure that that person or that that family or that individual becomes engaged on an ongoing basis with you. And as you said, the brand is built over time so that when they're ready to make the decision, your name, new projects is top front of mind. So yeah. that you're the first person they come to and say, Nick, I need you to come in. Can you come and look at this project because I've, I've seen, I've heard about you. It's almost that subliminal messaging that's going on mm. on an ongoing basis. Yeah, yeah. So, um... What is going to happen with the uh, Google campaign as of today? Okay, Andy, do you want to just go through what happens next? Um, so I think before we actually, before I actually make any changes to your account, uh, we'd normally create a strategy just so that you know what kind of thing we're going to be doing uh, and so that you can also accept it. Um, you know, go, going forward, I think expanding on the locations will be quite important. Um, at the moment, it looks like we just have Fulham, Kensington, and Pimlico, Westminster around there. There's not, not too many areas. Um, you know, if we can expand it on that, that will increase the amount of clicks that we're seeing because that is very low at the moment. Mm. Um, and so from that, our remarketing campaign will be will be very strong on this, I think. Um, just to talk about that, it's, uh, I'm sure you've seen display banners around the, the internet where, it, you know, you've got like a... a, a landscape rectangular image or a portrait rectangular image that's like down the side of a website or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's a remarketing ad usually, or a display ad. Yeah. Um, so we can have, you know, your branding there and have, have it however look, however you want it to look. Um, what, what it's like, Nick, is, you know, you talk about your branding that you have on the premises that you're working on. It's like having that in front of somebody on an ongoing basis. Yeah. For the moment it be on your side, they're, they're literally going to see your billboard or they're going to see your, your hoarding on on a, a fair proportion of the Google display network, which is where people will be spending their time on a day to day basis. So that it's that ongoing messaging to remind them that when you're ready to make the decision, it's Nick at New Projects you need to read first. Yeah. So the, uh, is um, our banners coming back in now? Then do you think? Because obviously banners were obsolete, you know, going back a few years ago. Um, I'm not sure they've ever necessarily been obsolete. They've always been useful. Um, it, I, I it, think it depends on the network. I, yeah, you know, I, I I follow a lot of uh, entrepreneur sort of YouTube channel uh, guys and. None of them have been doing banners for years and years and years and years and years and years. You 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 look at any good marketing campaign, brand marketing campaign, and I've worked with the likes of Renault, Skoda, the big automotive companies. But they've got millions to throw at everything, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But, but to be honest, we need to make you that brand in your space. Yeah. You know, the the, the difference is they've got to put a they've got to put a global strategy together. You've got quite a tight area, and there's. And as Andy was saying, what we've got here is a limited audience that we need to capitalise on. But if, so, you, if you did a good Facebook, Instagram campaign, I can get I can get in front of every person in Fulham this afternoon with one with for ten quid, and that's fact. And I can get in front of every person in Mayfair 
by by one o'clock today with one post. Fact. That's that is true, but the thing is with Google, um, is the intent is different. So on Facebook, people aren't there to buy. No, but we're talking about branding. We're talking about branding. Yeah. And just so that you know, Nick, Andy runs social media and Facebook campaigns. Yeah. Some, you know, we're doing some work at the moment for a large uh, global retailer, men's clothing retailer. So Andy does a lot of work in that space as well. And actually, that's probably one of the most challenging campaigns we've got at the moment, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so, so all of this is, look, we're, we're going to build the strategy out. So the, the, the key focus at the moment was to really confirm how far we can stretch because we know that click is limited um, from an interaction point of view. We know that the engagement with the audience is going to be key on an ongoing basis. So, so from the point of view that once we get a bite, to be able to remarket in whatever format um, is going to be key. You know, and, and it might be a case that we start to build enough information that we can start to create uh, social audiences, be it um, look-alike audiences, be it, so we can start to look at that further down the line. But at the moment, what we need to make sure is this this campaign is reaching the right audience in the right way, and we're getting engagement. Um, and, and and again, it's not like buying a widget where do you know what? I'm going to spend a couple of pounds today, so I will make the decision in the next thirty seconds. We know this is considered, so it's. It, it's it's ensuring we put the right message in front of the right people. So so that that's yeah. Andy is very data driven. So everything that we do for you moving forward, we'll we'll look, we'll test, we'll analyse, we'll come back to you and then say on the basis of what we're seeing, this is how the strategy is going to develop. Because that's the only way. We, we, I think what you're talking about when you talk about that display, Nick, is the old scattergun approach. Where do you know what? It was a case if you throw enough mud against the wall, some of it's going to stick. Um, Remarketing and display marketing these days is very, very different to that. Mm. So that we're looking to enhance and use the knowledge that we've got to really target that market. Listen, I, I, I believe in every every bit of marketing works, whether it's flyers, whether it's magazines, whether it's TV, whether it's anything. But it's it, it's making the marketing work for the budget you have. Yeah, Do you know what I'm yeah. saying. So yeah. if, if if I could go and do, you know, I I, I wouldn't mind putting ten thousand flyers out in Fulham and Chelsea this week. You know, but it's quite it's quite expensive because you've got to print the flyers, then you've got to get the company to go and deliver them. So you could, could be talking, you know, a grand just to get ten thousand flyers out. Yeah. You know, which is 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 hassle, but I know it works. But out of that ten thousand flyers, we may get three people actually phone up. But again, it's brand a brand awareness, isn't it? It's just that that document going out and someone picking it up and showing an interest. But no, I do believe everything works. So nothing is nothing. You know, I'm open to listening to anything which uh, could um, build our brand and get the phones ringing. Great. And, and the one thing I know about Andy that you like, Nick, he treats your money as if it's his money. Yeah. So um, he's, he's, um, he's, he makes sure that we get everything out of every piece we go in there. And that's why the, the data piece will be really important. And when we have our, our update calls, or go through the data because we can read back what we're seeing. We need your your knowledge and your, your feet on the street. When I come down, yeah, I think this guy said I'm going to be coming down quite regularly you now, but quite a few clients around Knightsbridge, Kensington, and yourselves. Mm -hmm. So we can sit down as well and, and, and just spin out how the strategy is going to grow and what the opportunities are going to be as we, we see the data coming through to us. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, list I'm, I'm, I'm keen to find out, you know, what, how what else you can sort of uh, bring to the table, Andrew, and right. you know, listening to everything you've got to offer. Yeah, the, the main thing will be um, all the different services that you mentioned earlier, such as you know, architecture, design, project management. Uh, the main thing will be uh, getting the keywords around that and creating a structure around those services and then running you know, the most important profitable ones based on how much budget you want to run with. Yeah. Um, so that'll be the main bread and butter of the search campaign. Um, Alongside, yeah, I think remarketing display will be really good. It is it genuinely is probably the cheapest form of uh, Google Ads that you can run. So I really don't think the cost will be an issue. Um, but you know, if, if if it's not successful, then I won't I won't run it. I won't let it continue to run. I'm not going to waste your money on anything. Yeah. Great. Okay. So what we can do now? Let's build that out. Um, and you and I will work on that today and get that. Are there any other questions you've got for Nick? 
Um, I, th- I think a lot of it will probably come from uh, writing a strategy and then getting some feedback from that from yourself, um, agreeing to how we're going to go forward and then going forward together, I suppose. Great. Um, what's your timeline on that, Andy, please, for Nick? Uh, for a strategy? Yeah. Um, let's see what this week's looking like. Um, it will be done before the end of Thursday, but I'm not here on Friday. Okay. So I'll, I'll get it done for Thursday. Okay, we'll get it over as soon as you can, and then Nick and I can double check, go through it, sign it up, and, get, and we'll, we'll get straight into whatever we agree is the, the best way forward um, to really grow the instant, Nick. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Excellent. Well, when should we ever catch up again then? Okay, so what we'll do, probably you and I'll catch up Friday, Nick. If we've got this Thursday, I'll give you a ring. Are you, you, you in the office Friday? Yes. I'll give you a ring Friday lunchtime. So if, if and if you can send it direct out when you before you finish Thursday, Nick and I can digest it Thursday night, Friday morning. Then I'll give you a call Friday Friday lunchtime, Nick. You and I can go over it. We can discuss the thing we're talking about as well about um, new digital. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. All right then. Well, um, have a good day, and I'll speak to you a bit later on. Brilliant, mate. See Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Andrew. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.